Hey you guys, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today is our last Valentine's Day DIY video, so I hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into these DIYs. Alrighty, we are taking the Valentine's Day tag. Y'all, this tag versus the Christmas tag is like substantially bigger. So when you see them, pick them up. So we're gonna take the bow apart, save both the bow and the twine. And then as per usual, I traced out my shipping paper. We're gonna cut it out and we are going to cover the front of this up and utilize the back of the sign. And then I'll clean it up with my craft knife and all of that jazz here. So then I'm taking the Waverly chalk paint and my new chalk brush. I am trying all the different uh, chalk painting techniques you guys have told me in comments. Uh, I read all of y'all's comments, you guys, and I'm always up for trying new things. So this one is just taking the chalk paint, spritzing it with some water, and it does definitely glide on so much smoother. I really, really liked this. I don't know what was going on with my brush. There was like hair in there, and then there was like little chips in there. I don't know what was going on. Okay, now taking these cutouts, Teresa B DIY sent me these among other things I'm gonna use in this video. So thank you so much. Go check out her channel. And I painted those with crimson red. You guys don't mind this, okay? This, I thought I was gonna use this bow for this sign, didn't work out. So all I'm doing is cutting four pieces of each ribbon I'm gonna use out. And then I'm dovetailing them, which um, I do a bad job of because I kept messing up. So yeah, this ribbon ended up coming out way shorter. So we're going to repeat this process for the other two ribbons I had chose to use as well. Here's our four. So now I'm cutting that like foil off of this Dollar Tree ribbon and then cutting it down the middle for thinner strips. Now this is a messy bow y'all. So all you're doing is stacking. You're stacking them however you want. This is why I wish the red would have been longer because it would have just stood out a lot more. But needless to say, the end result was really good. And then we're gonna take our little mini zip ties here, flip over our bow, and then don't tighten it until you have it looking exactly how you want. And then you'll see, just fluff it out, and there you go. Now taking some red twine, I am going to hot glue it to the back and we're gonna wrap it around several times and then taper it off and then your bow is done. Now, let's put this together here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and attach everything. Make sure to always lay everything out first, y'all, okay? There is nothing worse than like laying everything out and then realizing it doesn't work. So for some reason, my mind was stuck on using the ribbons as the X's and I tried all different kinds uh, and then I settled on this ribbon I got from Michaels for the 70% off after Christmas and then just cut it down the middle for thinner strips. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that a couple times. There we go. And then I just laid it out and now we are just going to hot glue everything onto our board. I don't know why y'all, but I was like envisioning this for like days and I was so happy to finally uh, create it so it would be off my mind. Okay, so I, oh, I didn't record that, but I hot glued the ribbon to the sign in the X's. So sorry, sorry about that. And then uh, just tied the twine it came with back on it, hot glued our bow to the top, and y'all have yourself a cute little sign to go on your front door or with your decor in your home. I love the way this turned out. Let me know what you think about this. I love that bow. I wish the, the hearts, strings were longer, but I was really happy with the way this turned out. So I hope you guys love it too. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the first DIY. I wanted to come on and say a big hello. I have a lot of new subscribers, so thank you so much for one, taking the time to watch my videos, two, to hit the like and subscribe button, and three, for basically saying like, you dig me and my style. I appreciate that. And y'all know I appreciate all of my OGs. You guys know I care and appreciate you guys so much. Um, you guys make sure I am on Instagram. I am on TikTok. I am on Facebook. We have a Facebook group where you guys can all share your crafts. It doesn't have to be crafts that like I do. It could be 
your own ideas or crafts that you get from, you know, other YouTubers, whatever it is. And then, uh, yeah, I think I already said Instagram and stuff, but, <laughs> um, you guys comment down below and tell me, I am really trying to make this a business for myself and my family. And so I am branching out to try different other things. I was thinking of like a blog, you know, kind of like a blog, not, not on here, but like a website. And on there, kind of doing, like showing you smaller crafts or things that I, more so I'm doing around the home that I wouldn't really record on a daily basis. And then also when I learn how, I'll do like free printables and all that stuff, which I'm, I'm trying to get into. So comment down below and let me know if that's something that you'll be interested in. And I won't waste any of your time. Let's go ahead and get back into the crafts. All right, and moving on, some more heart cutouts that Teresa sent me. Painting two of these uh, rich black by folk art. And then we're gonna take some twine and you guys, I had goals, I had goals. I wanted to make three of these, okay? Your girl ended up only making one of them. Uh, it took a lot of time and I was not down. I was just not down to do that. I told myself you're committing to this one. I almost bowed out like five times, but. I was, I was committed. All I'm doing is wrapping it around and around and around and around this middle piece and then just kind of tacking a piece of glue where it curved. And this is the finished product, like the mess. Like it was a mess. Yeah, we only did one of those. So then taking the heart, we're gonna go ahead and trim that baby down because it was really hairy. And then the scissors weren't really doing it justice. So I took the lighter, make sure you do this super fast. Do not leave it on the twine or you will have issues. Okay, so this sign is from Target. Teresa also surprised me by sending this in the mail. And you guys play around with placement first, okay? I wanted to use the wood cutout letters, but I didn't have any ease. So I'm gonna use these stickers and I am cutting them all out first in order to find my placement. Do this first, y'all, because you will see I had to actually switch my hearts around in order to fit the mine. So lucky for me, this has stripes on it, so um, I was able to get a nice, uh, what do you call it, even straight. I was able to put my letters straight is what I want to say. Um, and if I couldn't do it straight, your girl has issues, but it came out straight, I promise. So go ahead and put all of your stickers on there or your wood letters or your vinyl, whatever you want. You could also create this by just putting, you know, painting white and then using a marker or whatever to create stripes. All right, so let's glue those hearts on, just overlapping each other. The heart that took ages, that took like 30 minutes of my life. All right, now a finger bow. We are taking two strips of the little twine that came with the hearts, and I'm going to show you. So two fingers, wrap it around. All right, it's, I have trouble here. Wrap it around your two fingers. Now you're gonna take that little tail, and you are going to push it through in between those two fingers, okay? See how it's going in between? Uh, yeah, it keeps wanting to pop out. Come on now. Okay, put it in between. Now see the loop it creates right there? You're gonna take that tail from the bottom, loop it back up and over that loop, put it inside, and that is going to give you your knot for the middle of your bow. So this is just a single loop finger bow. And of course, I will leave it down in the description box and up above for you to see my actual bow tutorial. So then we're gonna put our finger bows right over those holes and our sign is complete. Isn't this super adorable? And it was so easy, obviously, because the sign was already done, but that little bugger of a heart, woo, goodness. Do you guys like this one, huh, huh, do you, do you? Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you this. We're taking the mason jar, deconstructing it. So I'm showing you this because y'all need to tell me what I was doing wrong. So I saw on Facebook a gal get scrapbook paper and a Ziploc baggie, okay? And she essentially used the Ziploc baggie to adhere the scrapbook paper 
to the mason jar. I think she even did a mason jar. So I was like, I gotta try this. So I get the lunch baggie. I put the scrapbook paper on top. I have my iron, cause she used a, an iron. So I didn't wanna use my like easy press. I didn't wanna cheat. I was trying to do it exactly like her. And this thing was hot, like super hot. I almost burned my finger. And I could not get it to work. I even tried like the thicker Ziploc, still wouldn't work. So then I had to move on. So let me know what I was doing wrong down below here. So anyways, as always, everything happens for a reason. So I just traced it out. We're cutting out our mason jar form. And then I am going to take one of my jumbo glue sticks from Dollar Tree. Make sure to get the sides really well with your jumbo stick. And then I like the, the glue sticks because you can move the scrapbook paper. You can peel it off. You can put it back on. So I like that. All right, so now that that's attached, I'm just taking a sanding block, sanding around, smoothing it out, and then we are attaching twine again. Now, I know I wasted the twine in the beginning, but it was like in all different pieces and it was just not reusable. So wrap that around, tack it off on the back here. Voila. So this is the um, bow we took off of the first one and I really wanted to use it, but the red was super dull and just didn't go with what we were doing. So I took the Arteza fabric marker and just ran it over all of the red lines on this bow and it was popping. Let me tell you, it came out so cute. So then taking these hearts, I painted it crimson red, even though I know it's red, but it was like a bright orangey nah, eh, eh, red, you know? And then I'm gonna take another one, paint it rich black by folk art. We're gonna dry those up. Now we're taking twine. We're gonna tie it around our mason jar, just knot that up, and we are, will be attaching our hearts to that. So then go ahead and apply your bow right there. And then all I'm doing is holding these hearts up to the twine and I'm gonna be like staggering them. And yeah, that that's it for this one, you guys. And I love how it still had like the metal like lid look on the top of it, but easy peasy Dollar Tree squeezy, right? And look at how cute this would look. So adorable in a tiered tray with your other decor, even outside on like a little patio. I really love the simplicity of it. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. Okay, look at this one, you guys. So easy. So we made this during Christmas. We're gonna go ahead and deconstruct this gal right here. Make sure we are going to take off the beads as well. They're just stapled to the back. I don't have a staple remover, so I won't let you watch that. Then taking Waverly in white, we're gonna go ahead and paint that on, just doing a messy brush as usual and then we'll go ahead and set that aside to dry now with our beads like i said i listen to you guys and i try things so i'm gonna try a new technique here so taking all the beads off make sure you save that twine i put the beads in i get the chalk paint then i put just a little dab of water then i mix it around and then it goes everywhere uh that was not a part of the suggestions you guys gave me but i made it work then I got that black on my white sign. So then I just start smearing it in. Why not, right? So I do the same thing for the red and then I just, I guess, pour it out, trying not to like pour all of the paint out with it, get my heat gun and just dry them off. And that actually worked pretty well and it didn't waste that much paint and it didn't take that much time. So now I'm just stringing the beads back on, alternating the colors. This is the original twine that they came on. And now make sure those are fully dry before you put them on, um, put your sign together here. So now we're gonna take our frame, you're gonna take the backing and you're going to take your wood beads. So here we go. And you're just gonna play around with the placement here. Okay, so I'm just setting them on and I'm basically just closing them up in the frame. And this worked so perfectly. I didn't have to screw holes in the frame. Like it was so easy. So now I'm just closing that off on the back. I'll probably put shipping paper on the back of that, by the way. And look at how cute y'all. I did end up taking one bead off of there so that the placement was a little higher. Then taking a vinyl decal. This is from the Cricut Design Space, so I'm not able to sell it on my um, Etsy shop, but you, there's so many options for that y'all. So. And this is it. 
was that not easy or what? And look at how cute. See how the beads are kind of like lifted just a little bit more. And I love how this is so simple, but it makes such a big statement. All right. Our last one, you guys, I had to throw this in because I had it and I was like, I don't want it to go to waste. So all I did was, this is from Dollar General, by the way. So I took Rich Black by Folk Art and I'm just doing a messy brush on this. I don't care about getting it like stark black by any means. And I'm gonna put this everywhere except for our hearts, our rack and our um, little, those little like heart rims. So just do it messy. We're gonna go ahead and finish that up. And then we are gonna go ahead and grab Mineral by Waverly as well. And we're gonna use that for the middle of our rims. Now I'm using the same paintbrush throughout this entire thing, y'all. So it, it doesn't have to be clean. And I wanted to do something different. Now I'm taking the Mineral and just going over any of the spots that I left kind of like peeking through so that it looks like a worn old truck. I love that look. I hope you guys like, I know it's not red, but I hope you guys like it. And this color right here is hazelnut. Then we're gonna grab some Arteza um, paint markers and we're gonna go ahead and play around with those hearts, y'all. So let me know, you guys, down below, are you excited to get into spring decor after this and just regular home decor? Because to be honest, I am. I'm so ready to take like a break from all the season, seasonal decor and just start decorating my home and just like everyday stuff. I feel like all I've been doing since I moved in is changing my decor over and over and over again. So I'm super excited. Let me know what you think down below about changing up into kind of a more everyday spring, bright, airy colors. So all right, you guys, so we're just going to finish this up and then we are going to get the stand that it came on. I think this was like 250 and we're going to take that hazelnut color and uh, mix it with some of the black. See how you, there we go. That kind of goes a little bit more with our truck and that's all. It's just a cute little piece as like a filler on shelves and all that jazz. So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today, for always leaving me such positive and encouraging comments. I appreciate y'all so much and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Enjoy the bloopers, y'all. Bye. Yoga, gotta clean, gotta cook, gotta do homeschool. Gotta do the planner, gotta send out emails. Kids are going, why does this look crooked? It is driving me insane. I need like a level or something because. No, because I said so, because I said so, because I'm the boss. I'm in the craft room. Uh, yep, that would be the basement. Oh, you look beautiful. Look at those shiny pants. So pretty. Oh, handsome boy. I haven't seen it in a long time. I already found it. Yeah. We what need to get is you. This? Don't you have bigger pants? Mommy just bought you a bunch of pants. I want these. Oh, great. Maybe he's wrapped on. Tight pants. Can Go I ahead. Go ahead. And then after this, I'm doing yoga for real quick without being interrupted. And then we're gonna go to Walmart. I've never seen those pants. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs>
for so much and everybody wants to see you. Are you, you tell me you're hungry? Aren't you hungry, my big boy? Oh, you got some eye boogies. I got some eye boogies. Oh, that's not an invitation to jump. Get, get back. Get back outside. Hey, sit. Show everybody how good you are. Sit. Good boy. There's a really good girl right there. That's my new mom. Oh. What? Hey, no, sit. Good boy. There is nothing there. I'm not baby right now. I'm gonna stink. Oh!